Hello guys, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo se encuentran este día? ¿Se escucha bien? Hi, good evening. Yeah, we can hear you. I can. Okay. Cool. Good evening, guys. How are you today? Maybe. How are you today? Brandy, Yancy, and Maximo. How was your day? Mm -hmm, guys? Well, my day was kind of busy because I've been working all day long. Oh, today was a, a cloudy day. Yeah, that's right, too. Okay, guys. Um, as every night, we will start to work the class at 8.03. Just, uh, just to wait. Uh, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Raul. The people that is missing. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Benny and Raul. Okay. Today, um, I'm, I'm out at home and I can't use the camera and the microphone. So I'm going to, uh, I will, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be here in like an East, Eastern teacher. It's okay, Raul. Uh, the most important thing is be here. Okay, guys, it's time to get a little, mm, <clears throat> sorry, a little review about the aims for today. Well, first of all, we will, we will watch again, or we'll watch the three war price server. We will verify the uh, homework about the meaning and also the pronunciation about those phrases or verb. After that, uh, we will make a little uh, <coughs> dynamic. Uh, you have to make one example with one of those phrases. After that, we'll learn about Data and see how they make they make suggestions. In order to discuss that, we will watch this video. I need a date. Yes, guys. Today we will we are going to talk about dates. <laughs> After that, guys, you know, we will learn about germs, infinitive, modal verb plus verb and negative questions in order to make suggestions. <clears throat> okay, guys, that will be the agenda for today. And if we got time at the end of the class, we will practice with El Principito. Okay, guys. It's time to start. Second, yes. I will play a video, the video game. And um, please pay attention. I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Hi, as you know and recall, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time we'll show you a list of three words, phrasal verbs, that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do. Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Take some time to make sense of them. Stay at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. 
My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Be excited for something to happen. End a romantic relationship. Keep pace with someone or something. Tolerate something you don't like. Okay, guys. First of all, before watch this part of the video, it's necessary to verify this one. How do I pronounce this one? Mm -hmm. How do I pronounce the first one? Broken up with. Thank you. Maximo, how do I pronounce the second one? Sure. Came up with. Perfect. Maybe. The third one. Looking forward to. Perfect. Raul. The number four. Ah, sorry, Raul cannot uh, cannot participate. But Yancy, can you help us with the uh, the four one? Um, explain. <laughs> Solo que lo lea, niño. Guys. Guys. Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, guys. I already got a message that I got some issues with 